Hello. Welcome to Creating Wealth 101, sponsored by Renewal Financial Services. I am Angela Keyes, Chief Operations Officer for Renewal. Creating wealth is a noble and desired objective shared by nearly every American without regard to race, creed, color, or any other demographic characteristic. This section is not designed to teach you how to select stocks and bonds and which mutual funds in which to invest, but it is a general course which is designed to educate you about the skills you need to obtain and create your own wealth. In this segment, we will discuss time horizon, risk tolerance, capital outlay, return on investment, investment vehicles, and five ideas for creating wealth. First, let's look at time horizon. There's a short-term time period, and generally short-term investments are focused on making a quick return and range in time frame from days to less than five years. With the long range, Generally, long-term investing counts on the fact that over time a worthwhile investment such as stocks, bonds, real estate, or another form of investing will appreciate in value and result in a long-term capital gain. Let's look at risk tolerance or financial risk zones. Each investor has a different risk tolerance. The question of how much risk you are prepared to take on determines the type of investment that you should select for your portfolio. It is important to gauge this factor when assessing the various investing opportunities available to you. Are you aware of what your risk tolerance is? Risk is generally categorized into five zones. First, conservative. Safety of principle is the dominant concern. Investors seek to keep risk to a minimum. In the conservative to moderate zone, safety of principle and income are the primary concerns, but a secondary goal of growth is capital. Investors are willing to accept some risk in seeking to enhance returns. In the moderate zone, growth of capital is the primary concern, but a secondary goal is safety of principle. Investors are willing to accept moderate risk in seeking to increase growth opportunities. In the moderate to aggressive zone, growth of capital again is the primary concern, but a secondary concern is the safety of principle. Investors are willing to accept a fair amount of risk to take advantage of potentially significant growth opportunities. Finally, in the aggressive zone, growth of capital is the dominant concern. In this category, investors are willing to accept a high degree of risk in seeking superior returns. Capital outlay. Capital outlay is the main source for investing, which is your household income. You should make savings a part of your budget. Decide on a dollar amount or percent from each paycheck and put it directly into savings. Resist the temptation to dip into that money. Save and you will have the money to invest. With capital outlay, household monthly budgets are a good technique to help you save. It is important to know how much you can afford to invest given a moderately good chance of loss. Let's look at return. An investment's total return is the sum of income and appreciation made on an investment. Total return is expressed in dollars and should not be confused with rate of return, which is expressed as a percentage. Please note that total return can also be negative, for instance, if the investment loses value. Investment vehicles contain several items. First, there are stocks, bonds, precious metals, cash equivalent investments, commodities, 
in real estate. First, let's look at stocks. Over the long term, stocks have historically outperformed all other forms of investments. From 1926 to 2006, the Standard & Poor's 500 returned an average annual 10.4% gain. The next best performing asset class is bonds. Long-term U.S. Treasury notes return, on average, 5.9% over the same period. However, if you're considering short-term investments, stocks can be a hazard to your financial health. On October 19, 1987, stocks experienced the worst one-day drop in stock market history, 22.6%. If you had invested in a NASDAQ index fund around the time of the market's peak in March 2000, you would have lost three-fourths of your money over the next three years. Therefore, investing in stocks requires a long time horizon. Anything else is trading, and it's very hard to time the market and realize a desired return on investment. Now let's discuss bonds. Bonds are common investment vehicles that are used to guard against the turbulent up and down nature of the stock market. This investment vehicle is often considered safer. However, the maturity takes a longer period of time, an investor is typically locked into the investment, and the returns are often smaller than other forms of investments. A bond is a debt investment in which an investor loans money to a corporate or governmental entity which borrows the funds for a defined period of time at a fixed interest rate. Bonds are used by cities, states, federal and foreign governments as well as private companies to finance an assortment of projects and activities. There are a number of investment bonds that are capable of providing a desired return on investment. Among them are municipal bonds, U.S. savings bonds, investment linked savings bonds, high yield bonds or junk bonds, and collateralized bond obligations. Precious metals. Precious metals are rare and or highly valued metals. They include, but are not limited to, gold, silver, platinum, iridium, rhodium, and palladium. Investments can be made by purchasing the physical asset or by purchasing futures contracts for the particular metal using the commodity exchanges. Another investment option is to invest by purchasing shares of publicly traded mining companies that undertake exploration or production of precious metals. Let's look at cash equivalent investments. Cash or cash equivalent securities are the safest form of investments available. They offer a low risk, low return yield profile. Cash equivalents include U.S. government treasury bills or T-bills, commercial paper, certificates of deposit or CDs, and bankers acceptance and other money market instruments as well. Let's discuss commodities. The Commodities Exchange is an entity that determines and enforces rules and procedures for the trading of commodities and related investments such as commodity futures. Commodities Exchange also refers to the physical center where trading takes place. Modern commodity markets trade many types of investment vehicles and are often utilized by various investors from commodity producers to investment speculators. A corn producer purchases corn futures, speculation that the price of corn will go up or down, on a commodity exchange to lock in a price for a sale of a specified amount of corn at a future date. This is done while speculators buy and or sell corn futures with the hope of profiting from future changes in corn prices. Anticipated weather and other factors dictate the need for price speculations. Commodities are primarily traded on the Chicago Board of Trade and include both agricultural and financial contracts. The Chicago Board of Trade originally traded only agricultural commodities such as wheat, corn, and soybeans. Now the board offers options and futures contracts on a wide range of products including gold, silver, U.S. Treasury bonds, and energy. 
The Board of Trade has recently automated its processing, adding electronic trading of futures contracts. The trading floor is an open auction market where traders meet in a trading pit and primarily use hand signals to execute trades. Real Estate Investing in real estate is primarily done in three forms, vacant land, residential properties, and commercial properties. Vacant land includes lots in urban, suburban, farm, and ranch lands that have recently yielded significant financial returns. Specialists who focus on turning these properties into marketable dwellings and or business locations have generated significant profits. Generally, if a rural and suburban property is large, this will create a demanded opportunity for expansive development. On the other hand, small urban parcels of land in areas where there is a demand can yield high prices as well. Residential property is the most popular type of investment for real estate developers. However, given the recent downturn in the housing market that resulted from the credit squeeze, some developers are staying away from this market. It is important to remember that when market conditions are sour, that may be the best time for savvy investors to make calculated bets on real estate. Real estate agents then further specialize in types of homes including condominiums, separate homes, duplexes, high-value homes, vacation homes, and so forth. Commercial property can be empty land zoned for commercial use or an existing business building or buildings. Its valuation requires a more complex method taking into account the income potential of the property, historical revenue, cash flow with owner perks removed, and much more. Unless someone has extensive business valuation experience, it's better to enter this specialization carefully after time in the business in land or residential property markets. We've listed five ideas for you to implement, implement in creating wealth. The first idea is to pay yourself first and not less than 10%. That way you will be able to build the investment and the savings you need in order to create your demanded skill or create the resource for you to implement the wonderful idea that you, you have. You need to be able to find a place to invest your money that will yield a decidedly higher return. Third, we know that that's not always easy, so you should always seek wise counsel when deciding which investment vehicle to use. And in determining that investment vehicle, make sure that you understand any investment vehicles which may come your way. If you are unfamiliar with it, if you don't understand it, research find out all of the information you can about it so that you can make a wise decision. Finally, never invest in vehicles that promise unrealistic returns. Often those who make these promises are simply interested in deceiving you and it's a hard thing to invest your hard-earned money and your hard-earned savings into a product and you're left with nothing. Congratulations! You've just completed Renewal's Creating Wealth 101 online course. If you are ready to be tested on your Creating Wealth knowledge, click the link below and you will be routed to the examination. However, if you wish to take the test at a later time, you may log in later using your secure user identification name and password. Again, I'm Angela Keys with Renewal Financial Services and thank you.